The Fit Nation, welcome back to the end of the month here with our specific special Be Fit Live program workouts. All right, team. Uh, join us, welcome in, get settled in, grab your towel, grab your water, grab a pair of dumbbells because that's all that you will need for today. Um, and let's have some fun today. Again, welcome to our exchange Be Fit Live program to workouts. I am joined with my special guest, Sergeant Sonia Berry. Sonia Berry. How are you doing today, ma'am? <laughs> Absolutely. So this is actually the second time that we're able to uh, join us in person uh, for today's live workout. So if you're new to the program, again, this is our chance to really jump in on a active cardio and resistance based workout, a chance for you to focus on yourself, to get our bodies moving, to start off the week nice and strong um, as we try to do each and every week. And with that, we try to kind of progress each and every week. So this is our chance to really focus in and hone in on the things that we've been practicing on the activities, on the weight training, on the cardio-based movements that we've been practicing uh, throughout these last few weeks. But finish it off, finishing off January nice and strong here with our BFIT Live program workouts. Uh, the way it's gonna work for today, we have four movements that we're gonna tackle, which uh, we will demonstrate for you ahead of time. Our programming for today is gonna be 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. Once again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. If you have any questions, any comments, go ahead and leave a note in the Facebook uh, comment, the Facebook page below. I have my page pulled up right here so that way I can go ahead and see anything that you may have questions on, read, or uh, have any modifications or questions on, go ahead and drop us a note in the comments below. All right, team. Well, once again, welcome to our BFIT Live program workout. Um, any notes, anything? Uh, let's get started with the demos for today, Sergeant Barry. Um, again, if you have any water, grab that water, grab that towel, grab a pair of dumbbells because that's what you'll need for today. Um, let's start off with movement number one, Sergeant Barry. Um, let's go into a plyo lunge to a drop squat with a plyo lunge. So I'll go ahead and kick off uh, movement number one for us today. We have a plyo lunge. So we're working on a little bit of explosiveness, a little bit of plyometrics here with movement number one. We have a plyo lunge. So you're gonna go ahead and drop into that plyo lunge stance. So you're taking that nice, big, wide step into that plyo lunge, drop that rear knee down. Front knee tracks over that toe. We're gonna keep our chest up, keep our body up nice and straight here from that plyo lunge. You're gonna explode up into a drop squat and then into your alternate plyo lunge. So plyo lunge, drop squat, plyo lunge, drop squat, for movement number one. Take this one nice and controlled. If we need to modify and regress, let's go ahead and go into a reverse lunge, into a controlled rather squat and reverse lunge, just showing, slowing your tempo down and the explosiveness and the bounds. We can slow that down a little bit more to our comfort level, wherever our fitness level is for today. All right, team, we're gonna grab a pair of dumbbells. Sergeant Barry is gonna demo station our movement number two here, a standing bicep curl and a tricep extension. So we're looking at activating our triceps, our biceps and our triceps for movement number two. So 20 seconds, again, we have a 40 second uh, total timing to work with. So we're gonna split this up between 20 seconds on our bicep curl, 20 seconds on our tricep extension. So we're gonna take a nice strong stance just like Sergeant Barry is doing. Our palms are facing the front of the room from here. We're gonna curl up into a bicep curl, control this weight on the way up, squeeze at the top and then control on the way down. Again, nice proud chest, shoulders are rolled back, and our head is looking forward here for our 20 second bicep curl activation, okay? After that, we're gonna go ahead and put our, take our palms facing each other. We're gonna hinge at those hips. So we're gonna push those hips back because we want to go into a tricep extension. So our elbows are gonna get tucked in close to our torso here. And from here, we're gonna extend out into a tricep extension, okay? Make sure that our chest is pushed down and our head is looking down as well. We can feel that activation in our triceps. Again, hips get pushed back, soft bend at our knees, shoulder width apart at our feet as well. And we have that nice tricep extension engaging and isolating our triceps. So a bicep and a tricep movement for movement number two. Movement number three, we have 10 A steps and two push ups. So this is a bit of a cardio movement. All right, we're really looking to engage with our heart rate elevation here. So we have 10 A steps is what we call them and then two push-ups. So with those A steps, think of a high knee but a more soft, gentle high knee. So really exaggerate opposite hand to opposite knee with those 10 A steps, okay? So out of your 10 A steps, you're gonna come down. We have two push-ups here, one and two. 
All right, be mindful of our push-ups here. As always, our hands are going to be stacked underneath our shoulders, our shoulders, nice flat back, hips are square to the floor, coming down into a push-up position, one and two, and then we are back up into those 10 A steps, okay? A nice lateral movement here, a nice strong bound for those 10 A steps. That's gonna be movement number three, okay? Looking into movement number four, we have a combination variation here. So we're gonna go ahead and take a seat on the floor. Four rounds is what we have this workout. So through each round, we're gonna mix up our variation of a core activated movement. So for round number one, we're looking at leg lifts. So we're gonna go ahead and take a seat, recline back on the floor. We're gonna raise our legs up nice and straight, up to our hips at hip level, and then control on the way down, okay? All the way up and then all the way down. The slower the tempo, the nice controlled movement is what we're looking at today. Nice soft bend at the knees as we come up and then we come back down. Our second round, we're gonna go ahead and go into a reverse crunch. So we're gonna start with our legs bent. We're gonna really push those knees to our chest, control on the way down. So reverse crunch as you bring your knees up to your chest, control your legs on the way down. So we're gonna bring those legs down and then drive those knees up. Okay, that's gonna be the reverse crunch for movement number two, okay? Movement number three, we have scissor kicks. So we're gonna straighten our legs here and we're gonna go from left, I'm sorry, from up to down here with nice long extension of scissor kicks. That's gonna be round three and round number four, we're gonna go into an ab crunch. So we're gonna bring our legs, our knees are over our hips, our hips, our legs are straight out right here and we're gonna go into a crunch here. So bringing our shoulder blades up off the floor, think about a nice quality crunch here for movement and round number four. Okay, those are gonna be the four variations of our core activated movements for the full workout. So we're gonna cycle through those um, for the workout, but other than that, the same movement one, two, and three are all the same. All right, team? Sound good? Sound good? <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think we are ready to get warmed up here. Again, grab your towels, grab your waters. Again, if you have any notes, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. Aaron, uh, so nice to see you in here. Uh, Araceli, thank you for joining us as well. And Keisha, uh, no problem. Thank you uh, for joining us. Um, again, towel, water, a pair of dumbbells is all you'll need for today. Um, all your effort is what we ask for you and what you get in is what you put in. What you put in is what you're gonna get out of the workout for today. So let's start off with some dynamic stretching. That way we can warm up our bodies and get prepared and ready to work here. So let's start off with a dynamic quad stretch just to really warm up our hips, uh, really looking at utilizing, uh, opening up our hips as well as our upper body. So we're gonna take our right leg, extend it back, feel that stretch in our hamstring. And just like Sergeant Barry did, we're gonna raise that left arm, all right? That's really gonna focus on opening up our shoulders as well as our mid to upper back. And you can push those hips forward and really feel that stretch in your hip flexor, all right? So go ahead and uh, alternate the left leg and right leg at your pace here. We'll do each of these stretches for about 30 seconds each as we reach up a little higher each time. Really focusing on, again, our hips, hip flexors, quads. Nice controlled breathing as well. And feel free and sit in each of these movements for about, uh, for as long as you need, right? Feel your body out. This is a great time to go ahead and see where we are today. All right, let's move into movement number two, dynamic stretch, which is gonna be our lateral lunge from left to right. So a nice wide stance, right? Wider than shoulder width apart. Our toes are gonna be facing forward from here. We're just gonna shift our weight over to the left and to the right, feeling that stretch in the inside of our thighs. Maybe our hips are nice and tight. So we're trying to really kind of open up those hips, keeping our chest up as well. Nice, comfortable shift of weight here to get some blood flow moving to our lower bodies and our lower muscle groups as well. So a few more seconds here, out in five to be exact. Last three, two, one. All right, team, let's come to the top of our space here. We're looking at reverse lunges with an overhead reach. So we're gonna come to the top of our space here. We're gonna take our right leg. We're gonna extend it back into our reverse lunge. Drop that rear knee down, right hand comes up and reaches over to our left. You can really feel that stretch in your lats. As you reach over, go ahead and stand back up. Alternate left leg and right leg. Again, this can be as quick as you would like, or it can be as slow as you would like. 
Again, really just warming up our body here, getting it ready to work here through our plyo lunges with our drop squat, bicep curl, tricep extensions for movement number two, our aceps with a push up for number three, and our core work for movement number four. All right, team. Let's come to the top, the back of our space here. We're gonna go into an inchworm. So we're gonna stand to the back of our space. We're gonna come down, we're gonna reach towards our toes, feel that stretch in our hamstring. We're gonna walk out to a high plank position. Pause for a second, and then go ahead and retract back, touching our toes once again, and standing right back up, regrouping, and we're gonna come right back down once again, all right? Again, we're asking a lot from our core to hold that high plank at the top of that movement. Really pausing, giving yourself and your core some time to warm up as well. Again, this is an inchworm number three right here. Pause and come back in and stand up. Last one here. Back out. Good. Good work. Last one here. All right, team. Last but not least, uh, let's go into YTWs just to warm up our mid to upper back and a little bit of upper body mobility as well. So nice strong stance here. We're gonna come to center. We're gonna reach into a big Y formation, thumb space in the back of the room here, really feeling that stretch in our mid to upper back. We're gonna go back to center and then make a big T formation here. Back to center as well and a big W. You can feel that stretch in your shoulders, the anterior delts in front. Back to center, a big Y position as well. A little taller, a little further to the left and the right here. Good, nice deep breath in. Exhale as you make that big W sign. Good, big Y once again, last time around. Big T and a big W showing off our biceps. There it is. All right, Sergeant Barry and myself, we are ready to go. <laughs> go ahead and grab a drink of water here. Grab a towel, grab that water. Um, I will go ahead and start my timer and then we'll move into the workout here. So again, 40 seconds of work team, 20 seconds of rest, four rounds with one minute rest in between each of those rounds. If you haven't already, this is a great time to share this workout with your friends, with your family, with anyone that you have on your Facebook feed, all right? Keeping each other accountable, especially on a Monday, for a workout to keeping our bodies active can be a lot of help. I know Sergeant Barry pushes me uh, as well. So again, accountability partners helps out a lot. All right, team, plyo lunges and drop squats are starting in 10 seconds, okay? Shake out those legs, shake out that body, get ready to work here. Again, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, it flies by. Drop squat, plyo lunges coming up in two, one. Here we go, team. Drop squat, plyo lunge. So into your plyo lunge, nice soft bounce here is what we're looking for. Good. Again, in our squat, should be to our comfort level, to our fitness level, but also what we can do today, right? Challenge ourselves here. 18 seconds left. Try to hit opposite hand to opposite leg, just like you were walking or running. 10 seconds here, feeling the burn here in our lower bodies. Out in five. Last three, two, one and time, 20 seconds to recover here. I'm shaking that out. <laughs> okay, a pair of dumbbells here. We have bicep curls and tricep extensions. What's nice about this movement is we kind of get to control our breathing here from those plyo lunges and really focus on our arm, focusing on our upper body here. So palm space in the front here, 20 seconds of a bicep curl and then 20 seconds of a tricep extension. Good. All right, remember our feet, our shoulder width apart. Nice proud chest here, shoulders are rolled back, elbows are tucked in close to our torso. Two seconds, we're gonna switch to a hinge position. Here we go, hinging at the hips, elbows are tucked in close to our torso here, head is looking down. We're gonna control our weight on the way up and on the way down, keeping our wrists locked in a straight line. Five seconds here, last three, squeezing at the top, two, one and recover here. All right. Ooh, good job, team. <laughs> All right, shake that out. We have 10 A steps and two push ups. So, this is a full body movement here, right? We're asking a lot 
for those 10 A steps, really getting our heart rate elevated, dropping down into some upper body movement here. All right, team. 40 seconds on the clock, 10 A steps here. Think about nice, powerful bounds, keeping on the balls of your feet here. I lost count. I'm going by Sergeant Barry. Okay. <laughs> 12, we're overachievers here. All right. Think about being a little bit quick coming out of that push up. Good. Control yourself on the way down. Nice, strong push ups. If you want a hand release push up, by all means, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, seven, eight, nine. There we go. And time. Go ahead and rest here and recover. I might as well stay on the floor here because we are on the floor next with leg lifts. Okay, team. Round four, round one. Movement four. Here you go. Five seconds here. <laughs> we have leg lifts coming up. Here we go, team. Leaning back here in two, one, 40 seconds on the clock. Our hands could be underneath our hips. They can be off to the side. They can be right at our temple. Good. Think about bringing those toes up right above our hips. If we have it within us today, this is a great time. 20 seconds left to push our hips forward, lead with our toes up to the ceiling. 13 seconds here. Last 10, control your legs here. Out in seven. Core is nice and tight. Last three, two, one, and time. All right. Yes. First round down. <laughs> Absolutely, first round down. Okay, team, we have 50 seconds to recover. This is the program. This is the way that we're working through today's workout, right? Four rounds, four rounds, four movements, four rounds. We're just gonna start round two, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Grab that water, grab that hydration. Let's go and take advantage of this recovery time. 30 seconds here to recover. It's a great time to kind of reset your focus, reset your mind, recalibrate if you will, right? Uh, think about the movements that we just went through, these four movements. Think about where we can scale up. If it's the tempo, we can go ahead and raise that tempo. If it's uh, the weight for a bicep tricep extension, let's go ahead and adjust that to really challenge ourselves. 10 seconds here, and we're into a plyo lunge with a drop squat. Five seconds here, shake it out, team. Three, two, one. Here we go, team. Plyo lunge here with our drop squat. No matter where you start, we will all end up on the same pile of lunge drop squat variation. 30 seconds here. Good. There we go. We can see Sergeant Barry right here really controlling her weight on the way up and on the way down. A little bit of air in between the floor and her feet as well. Keeping her chest up, our head is looking forward. Nice power movement here. Really working on agility, a little bit of power. Strength, feeling the burn in two, one, and time. <laughs> that one, that one deserves a high five because your lower body is just fully activated, asking a lot, right? Really asking a lot from those, uh, your quads, your hamstrings, your glutes, fast switching muscle fiber. Pair of dumbbells here, bicep, tricep curl. Here we go, team. Standing up nice and tall, 20 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Good, controlling our weight on the way up and on the way down, only hinging at our elbows. Good. Five seconds here. Gonna go into our hinge movement of a tricep extension. Here we go. Hinging at the hips here and hinging at our elbows, isolating our triceps. Our head should be looking down as well. Nice soft bend at our knees. Good, five seconds here. Last two, one, and time. Now, I've never been skiing, but I imagine if I was on skis, you know, this could be something similar. <laughs> 10 seconds here, A steps to push ups. So far, my favorite. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I'm asking, asking for it today. Here we go 40 seconds of work. I woke up today and chose a challenge, I guess. Out of those 10, we have two push-ups. 
Good job. There we go. 10 A steps. Nice cardio work here. Down into our two push ups. Good job. Sergeant Barry is crushing those push ups. Last rep here. <laughs> yes. Last one here, two, last one second. Good job, stand up nice and tall, nice and proud here. Nice and proud here, catch our breath. Good job, good job, that's what it is. Eight seconds here, we have a reverse crunch in five seconds. So we're gonna take a seat on the floor here. We are up in three, 40 seconds of work here. Two, one, we're gonna lower those heels, hands by our temple. Really bring our knees up towards our chest. Our hips come up a little bit as well. So that's the reverse crunch. Squeezing at the top as your knees come up to your chest. Lower and control as your heels tap the floor. 17 here. Many of us are completing the ACFT and we do not have a bar, a bar available. It's a great variation, a great modification for a knee tuck. Last three, two, one, and time. Good job. All right, 60 seconds here. Yes, yes, yes. Catch our breath. Can I rest here? We can rest here. We can rest here. Rest here, shake it off, do what we need to here. Grab that water, find that towel. As I come in close to us here, team. Good work, good work. Eddie, thank you so much for joining us. Okay, let's see here. Um, yes, did we record any of these videos? 25 seconds here to recover. Yes, all of our previous BFIT Live program workouts are available on our Facebook page under our, under our playlist here, under BFIT. Okay, those are gonna be our full catalog of our BFIT Live playlist. If YouTube is your platform of choice here, head on over to our YouTube page, at Shop My Exchange. Hit the like button, subscribe, and that's where you can find us. Final lunges, drop squats coming up in two, one. Here we go, team. Round three. We are cruising through this workout. Again, this is really a cardio-based workout, right? So we're really elevating our heart rate, really burning those calories. Kicking off Monday nice and strong. Ending off the month nice and strong. Again, week after week. Stay with us, team. Before you know it, the end of the year will be here, and we'll be in it together. Seven seconds here, just like a team. Out in five. Last three, two, one. That is. In it to win it. In it to win it. In it to win it, team. We are in it to win it. All right, a pair of dumbbells here. Bicep curl, tricep extensions. Nine seconds. Standing up nice and tall. Again, composure. Bringing our breath down, two, one, and we're up here. Bicep curl and tricep extension. Good. There we go, nice control here. Five seconds and we'll go into our tricep extensions from a hinge position, here we go. 20 seconds on the clock, pushing those hips back. Elbows are tucked in, close to our torso. Palms are facing each other. Nice deep breath on the way in. Exhale on the way out as you push up into that extension. Last two seconds. One and time, good job. Drop the weight here. Good job, team. Whew. All right, 10 A steps, two push ups. <sighs> We can rate, oh, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Yes, ma'am. One, 10 A steps, two push ups. There you go. Nice power drive on that knee. We're down, two push ups here. Right back up again to your comfort level. There we are. Remember on those push-ups, think of your arms going out in more of an arrow formation from that aerial view rather than a T formation. 
That can help out a lot on your push up. Last five seconds, three, two, finish it out with eight steps and time. <laughs> Heisman, <laughs> 15 seconds here. All right, catch our breath. We are on deck here. We have scissor kicks. So eight seconds while you find your space. Five seconds, we are just going to switch our legs in two, one. Here we go, team. Hands by your temple, hands at your side, under your hips if needed. Nice control of each leg on the way up and on the way down. Really think about engaging our core, right? Think about that core being contracted. Focus on our breathing. 18 seconds here. Good. If you think about your core contracting long enough, it should be letting you know that it is on fire. It is working. It is activated. Last five seconds, team. Stay with us. Three, two, one, and time. Good job. Ah, good work, team. Good work. Good work. Way to finish off our third round here. Third round. <laughs> <laughs> yes, looking forward to our last round here. Grab that water, hydrate. I think I'm going to do the same here along with us. Again, 30 seconds to recover here. Mm. How are we doing so far, BFIT Nation? How are we feeling? 30 seconds. Thank you, team. Thank you, team. <laughs> All right, I know our exchange family showing up big today, team. Showing up big. Again, if you're looking for any additional information, workouts, nutrition, gear, wellness, hit up facebook.com forward slash BFit Live. You can find a wealth of information over there. Four seconds to your team. Plyo lunge, drop squat coming up. Last round, best rounds are in very, here we go. 40 seconds on the clock, team. All right, good. Again, if we need to modify, regress a little bit, let's go into that reverse lunge. Drop squat, reverse lunge, drop squat. Good. And Barry choosing that plyo lunge. I like it. 15 seconds, team. <laughs> Only regrets are not showing up, right? <laughs> Five seconds here, team. Finish this out. Last three, two, one, and time. Yes, way to finish out the time, nice and strong. All right, team, standing bicep curl, grab our dumbbells here. Eight seconds, finish us out here. Five seconds here, stand up nice and tall. Working on a little bit of upper body work focused movement for number, movement number two. Good, think about our breathing cadence as well. Nice deep breath in, on the way down, exhale. As you drive those elbows up, I'm sorry, those hands up to your shoulders. Two, one, we're gonna switch movements here. Hinging at the hips. Good. Keep those elbows tucked in, close to our torso. They should be in line with our torso as well. Last seven seconds. Add in five, three, two, one. All right, good job. Good job, arms are on fire, arms are activated. We're gonna feel that pump into that YTW, that W position, really gonna flex us out of here. All right, team, 10 A steps, two push-ups. Last round, best round, third set, best set. Here we go, team. 10 A steps, two push-ups. Nice, powerful movement here with your knee driving up, opposite hand to opposite knee. That sounds about right. <laughs> Good. Here we go, finish this out here. All I hear is breathing on my end. <laughs> Good, last 13 here. <laughs> it does, the last seven seconds here. Finish this out team, wherever we are, finish this out. Keep moving, last two, one, and time, good job. I'd say the toughest movement, relative, right? Relative. One of the tougher movements for today. Asking a lot from our bodies to go up, 
to go down, right? Plyo up, plyo down. Last and final ab crunch here. We are on the floor, five seconds till we start on the floor into that ab crunch in three, two, one. Hands by your side here. Really bring it into your shoulder blades off of the floor. Think about the quality of the crunch. Good, your knees stacked underneath your hips. Our ankles are in line with our knees. Go ahead and point our toes to the ceiling here. It's gonna really activate from knee all the way down the ankle. Good, now if we have it in us today, let's go ahead and extend back, come up, try to touch our toes, right about mid calf. That'll help bring our shoulder blades off the floor. Last five here, out in three, two, one. Last rep, finish this out. And time, good job. All right, team. Stand up nice and proud here, nice and tall. As we take a breather here, catching our breath. Good job, Sergeant Barry. Yeah, thank you. Good job, <laughs> I'm telling you, accountability, right? Accountability partner really helps us out here. I know having Sergeant Barry either via uh, over the phone here or in person in real life really helps out with a strong workout for me personally, right? Keeping myself accountable, keeping each rep accountable, keeping each second accountable because when we go, when we jump into a timing of 40 seconds of work uh it, it's really all about crunching that time down right being the most efficient with our time and and being able to work through those full 40 seconds can really add in one or two or three more reps uh by the end of the round and maybe even more reps by the end of the complete workout so really challenging us right if it doesn't challenge us it doesn't change us so that's what i like to say to keep me pushing forward to keep me motivated and to really keep me staying active and, and pushing uh, throughout each workout, whatever workout it may be, whether it's yoga, whether it's running. Um, I personally just started uh, yoga about a month ago, two days a week, and I can tell just pushing through that full time, uh, being guided through each movement really helps out a lot, just like we do here, helps out a lot, just being guided through the workout. So 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest team. Great work today, great work today. Sergeant Barry, what'd you think about the workout? Did we have fun today? Yeah, it was a lot of fun, man. It was a tough workout though. And uh, I was gonna say another benefit of a workout buddy is like, I warm up a lot more with you than I would on my own. Cause I'm like, oh, I don't need to warm up, but I'm glad that I do. I take the time to warm up and I, you help me with that. So, um, right. and you remind me to breathe properly. Cause honestly, I forget. <laughs> I forget to breathe the right way. Right, so, right, right. right. Yeah. Well, uh, two key points there, right? Uh, warming up is, is so important to your body to prevent injury. Uh, to really sustain uh, an active lifestyle and, and moving, you know, if you're moving daily through workouts like this, warm up, take the time, warm up and, and recovery, but warming up, warming your body up, you know, it's it's tough on a vehicle to cold start and take off nice and fast. It's it's definitely cold on, a, you know, challenging for a body to start on cold and try to perform to the best of your ability. So give yourself a solid foundation by warming up and, and really thinking about warming up properly before you jump into any type of movement, walking or running, um, strength training, hit, uh, any, any different yoga, different times of different types of workouts here of staying active, but warming up is so important and, and breathing as well, right? Think about our breath cadence, our breath cadence, and think about breathing in, exhaling as you push or exhaling as you pull, depending on the movement, it can really help push that weight up, push your body up. And it, and, and it does help with each rep. So great calls, great work today, team. Let me look at uh, any of the comments here as well. Hi, Aaron. So good to uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, BFit Nation, as I'm scrolling through, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. I see a lot of hellos and a lot of thank yous. So great work today, BFit Nation. Again, great job. Um, today was a challenging one, right? Really programmed to keep our heart rate elevated through a cardio-based workout, right? So a challenging one for today but great work in total. Again, you can catch our BFIT Live, our previous BFIT Lives uh, on our Facebook playlist under BFIT. Okay, team, our previous catalog uh, videos are there. They're also on our YouTube page at Shop My Exchange. If that's your platform of choice, look for our playlist called BFIT where you will find our full extensive catalog with myself and Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. And um, shopmyexchange.com forward slash BFIT. Head to our exchange hub. Not only will you find information on our BFIT, our exchange BFIT program, but also on veteran, um, on veteran information 
as well as wellness services, as well as kid uh, friendly activities and information, as well as fashion and things like that. So our community hub full of the gamut of what our exchange has to offer as well. But uh, definitely for apparel and sports nutrition and um, fitness trackers, things like that, shopmyexchange.com, visit us in store or online team. That's all the notes. That's everything that I have for us today, BFit Nation. As always, great work, way to challenge yourself. Again, week four is in the books for today, kicking the week off nice and strong. All right, finish up the week, progress through the week. Um, look, to, look to hit these workouts at least twice or three times a week, set that goal. And uh, let's try and start the following week off and next month, next month nice and strong. So is there anything else on your end before we head off? If your hair doesn't get messed up like this, you're not working out hard enough, so aim for the messiness. <laughs> I, I agree. Exactly. Yeah, we, we put in the work today. We should be looking a little less uh, put together, right? We, we literally put in the work, team. <laughs> All right, BFIT Station. Roy Montez here signing off. Uh, Senior Master Sergeant Sonia Berry. We'll see you next week. Bye, team.